Hi, I am Hussein, a senior transport modeler at PTV Group. Today, I'm going to show you how to export your Bezo model to Visim to conduct some micro simulation modeling. First, I will start with a Visum example network, as you can see here. Um, this network already contains a traffic assignment, and I can have a quick look through the network. The first thing I will do is zoom to one of the junctions and use the network the junction editor to open this node and have a look at the network editor. I can zoom out to look at the whole network in the junction editor and I can zoom to specific locations. It is very easy to adjust my lane configuration with the new network editor in vzoom 23. For example, I can click on any of these lanes and add the geometry as needed. So here I'm asking Visum to allow this lane to have vehicles going onto these two lanes. If I don't wish to have that, I can just delete the marked lane selection. I can keep doing the same by adjusting my lane configuration at the junctions and once I am happy with my selection, I can proceed for the network export. I can also adjust my lane like this quite easily, so I don't need to do this step in VISM. It's quite easy to adjust these links which will save time during the export process. I can also add intermediate points if needed to adjust my network. I can move these nodes easily as shown here. Once I am happy with my junction coding, I can go back to Visum. And for this step, I don't really need to rerun the assignment unless I made a major change. And this next step now is to export this network to PTV VSM. To do that, I will go to File, Export VSM ANM. And here I need to specify the location where this file will be stored that I will use later to import in VSIM. In this example, I'm exporting the network data. I can also export the routes, matrices, and I can even round these matrices to save time. But I will not activate the route because I want to use the coordinate-based routing. If I'm happy with my selection, I can just proceed with OK and VZoom will export the data super quickly. Now I can go to VSIM and click on File, Import, ANM. I will choose the file that I created already and I will tick off the import routing step for now. I will click on Import, Continue, Visim will start loading this file. It will take a few seconds once it managed to import the network elements. Now I can look at the network and I can see that all the links has been imported together with all the turning movements automatically. I can switch my view and look at the network and lane configuration. VSIM also imported any kind of crosswalks if they are available in the network together with signal heads, desired speed decisions, and conflict areas. This step has purely um, been automated to exchange the networks between the two version uh, files. We can also see that the lane marking has been imported and they follow the lane configuration as it is in Visum. 
Now this network requires a vehicle input and vehicle routes, but we only exported the network so far. There are two options to import the demand. As I mentioned, we can export the routes here that comes with SM. But if we do that, the routes will be related to the network file, which means the route has the link index stored in it. And if any uh, changes to the link number or if the link is broken, then the route will be broken. Instead, we can use the, the um, coordinate uh, route export, which uses the coordinates rather than the link ID or the link index. All what we need to do is specify the output file and choose whether we want to export matrices in case we are interested in dynamic assignments. I can choose whether I want to export the car matrix, the truck matrix, both or just one of them, and the time interval in case I have time intervals defined. I will export the car matrix, proceed with OK, and VZoom exported these routes automatically. Now I go back to VSIM, file, import, routes, coordinates, and I will choose my file, which ends with RCF, open. And there are a few options which I can choose from. I will choose static routing. You can also choose dynamic assignment uh, if you exported the matrices. In case if there are any missing network objects, this can add them, or you can use the existing ones. And here, some parameters for the coordinate assignment. There's a standard deviation, the snap radius, and the maximum number of candidate links. You can, adju you can adjust these uh, parameters according to your case, in, in case, for example, you didn't manage to get the right coordinates. You need here also to match your demand with a vehicle type. I'm going to use the car vehicle type and proceed with OK. FSM will start creating now the routes based on the assignment from Visum. This process will take a few seconds uh, to a few minutes, depending on the network size. And now we can see that all the routes and vehicle inputs has been imported automatically. We can have a look at the vehicle input list. And we can see that the volume has been imported. We can validate this volume by looking at the link location, for instance, here in FISM, where we have 1129 vehicles. And then we can go to VZOOM at the same location here and check the volume, which is almost the same. We switch back to VISM and have a look at the vehicle routes, static, and here we have all the list of the vehicle routes in the model. And we can have a look at each of these. And it took a few seconds to import the network and the vehicle routes. What we can do now is run the simulation by saving the file externally and have a micro simulation in VISM. We can see that the signal data and signal controller has been imported from VISM, the vehicle routes, the reduced speed area, the link configuration, and the vehicle input. We can do some micro simulation analysis by looking at the vehicle, by the, at the link density, the queue length, and so on. In case we want to make some changes here, we can also do it in VSIM, but we do have 
the network and the demand imported, which of course minimized our network coding time and demand generation. We can also switch to a um, 3D um, view and look at the simulation in 3D. And switch back to 2D if needed. There is also a possibility of looking at the signal controller evaluation. So we can add, for example, the signal timetable and choose between the different signal controllers that has been defined in the model. So I can choose one of them and look at the signal controller timing during the simulation. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our PTV Mobility channel on YouTube. If you have any questions, please add them in the comment section below. Also, join our global community on LinkedIn by joining the PTV Vism forum on the link below. Thank you and see you on the next episode.